Hello everyone, I am the Autistic Pinup and today we are talking about burnout. <sighs> so burnout, uh, in the most basic terms, I guess, is when you're just done. Like, your, your neurological system is shutting down, your processing system has shut down, you can't, like, do things that you could do the day before kind of shit. That's basically, like, what burnout is. Neurotypical people do experience burnout to, like, a certain degree. Like, there's definitely people, like, work burnout, I think, is a very common one where you're just, like, you've worked so much, you've worked so hard, and you're just, like, done. But for autistic people, burnout is really kind of terrifying, and it's something right now that I, I've honestly, for the past, like, year, just been in a constant state of burnout. It's been really difficult. So for me, how burnout presents itself, it's a little like my depression because, yeah, I also have depression. I am just a, <laughs> I have a distinguished degree in mental illness. Uh, so many initials. Anywho, um, so burnout for me is different from my depression. Depression, I just kind of want to lie in bed all day. I just want to sleep you know burnout is so bad to the point where I don't even want to sleep like I literally can do nothing I literally just I mean like I cry like I can cry very well in burnout but like I can just sit there and just think just have the thoughts in my head swirling around and that's all that happens with burnout like honestly I probably sat on a couch for three hours just staring straight ahead not even realizing it when I was burned out if there weren't humans around for me Something that does help me, at least, is when I have a safe human around, one of my safe humans, like, the burnout goes away pretty quickly. However, it can come creeping back in a second. Like, dude, there's been some days where I've yo-yoed completely. Like, oh, I'm so happy. Two seconds later, burnt out. Oh, back to being happy. I can do this. Two seconds later, burnt out again. So it's just, it's very confusing. My burnout is usually caused, um by like stressful situations. Um, I lived in abusive situations most of my life. I'm like just slowly starting to get away from those. It's been very exciting. Um, and like, I tend to get burned out if my social skills get questioned a lot because I am so self-conscious about my social skills. And when someone's just telling me, no, you're doing that wrong. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. I just start to question everything I do. Like, I will question every single conversation I have with someone. Every single interaction, every single word that comes out of my mouth, I start to wonder, oh, is that right? Do people get that? Am I making sense? And just all of that together just creates a spiral. And eventually, I'll just sit there being like, well, I shouldn't talk to people ever. I can't do that. I'm just, I might as well just sit here. So, yeah, um, honestly, right now, I'm super burned out, really, 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 really burned out. I actually had to um, quit my job, which in the long run turned out to be better for me because that means I get to advocate full time, which is the part that I'm passionate about. But it was still really disappointing. It wasn't like I worked that much anyways. I worked like 20 hours a week at an autism resource agency. Like literally the best place I could possibly work. Like they're not going to care if my social skills are bad. I've literally run out of the room. Like when I was done with a conversation, it's like, I don't know how to end this conversation. I'm leaving now. And they've just been like, okay, and go back to their work. But I was so burnt out to the point where I was like, well, I can't change my living situation currently so something else has to give and unfortunately it was like the work part um although it has helped tremendously that's another thing I have to learn how to not I have to learn how to see this as a huge accomplishment for myself instead of just pushing through and getting more and more and more burnt out to the point where I probably would have snapped eventually like I'm very proud of myself that I was able to be like, no, you know what? Something's not working. Something has to stop. And it was the work and it actually helped me immensely. Um, yeah. So 
I definitely want to do more videos about burnout because I feel like there's it's a huge topic to cover. The other thing is no one's talking about it except for autistic people. This isn't a medical term that doctors have come up with. It's not like a thing that's been studied. This is literally being talked about by autistic people. And like, I just want other autistic people to know out there that it's okay if you're burnt out, man. You're gonna burn out. But just know that those feelings are real and true and you shouldn't feel bad about them at all. You shouldn't feel like a failure. You are doing your best in this terrifying world that was not made for you. It was not made for the autistics. So I just want to, yeah, just kind of start spreading awareness about burnout and how much it affects us and how difficult it is. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, please check out my blog. I'm not drunk. I'm autistic. And I will see you guys next time.